Hey folks, I'm back. Listen, today I want to talk to you guys about love and romance. Yes, that's right. How many of us out there are guilty of not being romantic with our spouses? Or how many of us out there are being romantic every once in a while, allowing the relationship to suffocate? And I'll tell you why. And let me explain if you give me a second or two, what do I mean by this? A relationship has always been suffocated because whenever you're being romantic every once in a while, you're going out for wine and dine with your spouse, with your partner, you're either trying to make up lost time or you've either done something wrong along the way, people. And it's not about that because I'm here to give you a bit of perspective, a bit of insight into how to be romantic. Yes, that's right, I'm not an expert myself, but I do have a few things that I would like to share with you guys. Did you know that you can be romantic with your spouse on a daily basis? Now, what do I mean by this? Well, bear with me for a few minutes, because I'm about to explain and give you a few tips. Whatever it takes, do things with your partner. Yes, that's right, even if it means holding each other's hands on the road as you're walking down the street, shopping together, eating together, having breakfast together, doing as many things as possible together. That is what romance is about, being romantic, because you're doing things to build the relationship and improve the quality of your lives together. That is what is romance. This is what romance is about, being romantic. And the other things are really peripheral things, gifts, Going out to nice places here and there. These should be done as well, but there's no point in doing them things if you ain't doing the daily things, if you ain't doing the things moment by moment, day by day. This is what I'm talking about, because by doing these sort of things, it keeps the relationship alive. Even it comes down to the point of having a conversation together, a meaningful conversation together, deep heartfelt, heart warmth conversations together where you're actually touching one another emotionally and physically this is what i'm talking about where you're uplifting and empowering each other it's about having a relationship together where you're sharing the love for 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 one another in so many different ways because you're bonding this is what is romance about people now that's the thing that I thought I might bring to your attention look for as many ways as you can by either helping each other or doing things together because once you start doing this the relationship will flourish and it affects so many different areas and aspects of your relationship from intimacy and many other areas because if you don't do this then the relationship will fail and it will fall and then who's to blame only but yourself that is the thing, that is the insight and perspective that I, might fall, that I thought I might leave you with guys. So by all means, take it on board and improve the quality of your lives and your relationship with your spouses. Don't neglect your spouses. And I'm just talking about the, the man folk out there and the women folk out there. This is addressed to both of you spouses. So it's about time to nourish and nurture the relationship and let it grow and flourish. Because that's what it's about at the end of the day. And if you ain't doing this, like I said again and again, and I'm going to keep on saying this until it gets drilled inside your head, until you actually act and implement what I say. Go out there, do it, practice it, and keep on practicing it until it becomes second nature. Allow your relationships to grow. That's what it's about at the end of the day. Be romantic in whatever way that you can. It doesn't mean say that you, you go out there and buy gifts, flowers, presents, and what have you. You don't always have to do that. Sometimes it's about just saying a kind word or just being affectionate, or just being supportive for one another, whatever way you can be of help to one another. Because that is what true romance is about. Romance is, has so many different levels, from intimacy, from daily, daily things, from affection, from appreciation, and from understanding each other through a mutual conversation. This is what being romantic is about. It's so broad and there's so many areas to, gov uh, to, um, to cover. So, my people, my folks, my viewers, my friends out there, it's time to take heed and proceed and succeed. And I'm gonna leave you with that perspective. So, as I do, as I say, until then, take care, stay strong, stay focused, and always live to learn to empower and inspire the lives of many, as well as yourself. Bye for now.